Hi guys, it's Michael from the SM Cast here today, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a uh, review of the uh, debut snooker and pool set from Argos. Uh, this should be, I think, 80 quid, but uh, I got it on the Christmas sale at 50 pounds. Um, so uh, really, really good. It's the table is four foot six feet long. Uh, 4.6 feet long, sorry, and I apologise if there's a bit of a sway. I'm stood on the set here trying to get the best aerial view. Um, really, really good pool table. Uh, I like it. This is actually a present for somebody. I like it so much, in fact, that I'm actually considering buying one for myself. So, uh, you look at it on the uh, website and you think, mm, does it, it, look, it looks a bit unsturdy and a bit for 50 quid, but in all fairness, it's actually very, very good. But I have my pool cue just here, my snooker cue in fact, and I'm going to be comparing it to the cues you get with it, etc, etc, when we're doing a set or video if you've got one of these at home yourself. So first of all I'm just going to be uh, having a quick look at the uh, table itself. Uh, traditional markings of uh, pool and snooker etc. The pockets are fairly well made. The uh, It took a little bit of time for the uh, I hope you can see how right the, the uh, pocket covers like this one still hasn't done it. The pocket covers uncrease from the box because of the way that they're packaged. But the pockets are very secure, uh, nice and deep, which is what we like. You don't usually sometimes get deep pockets and it annoys me because they fill up quickly and you have to start emptying them mid-game. But um, it looks fairly small, but the balls correspond with the size of it and it, it is good for accuracy, etc. And it's like a whole new style of playing, which is because it's a lot smaller. So I'm used to playing on full size snooker tables, I have, so this is a real down scale. So, what with this pool, this pool, pool and snooker table being 4.6 feet long, a normal pool table is around 6 feet, and I think a normal snooker table is around 12 feet long. So, three times the length of this, so they are huge. But uh, obviously, the legs are just secured with brackets etc. I mean I haven't even opened the chalk yet so uh, I have just been using mine for like the one that I usually use on my queue. You do get a brush for the table but I will say straight away as soon as you start brushing when well, the first time I did it there the bristles come off so that's naff in my opinion but if you brush it carefully enough it does remove the bits which is what it's supposed to do. You get a triangle, you do only get one triangle, and this is just for the pool. When you're setting up your, sn your snooker balls, the red balls, you do kind of have to do it in a, and then hold it there as you're putting it in place, or just do it with your hands, which is a bit of a faff. You get a uh, snooker scoreboard, a full set of pool balls, which will have a close look once I've set the table up, and a full set of snooker balls, and just one white ball. The cues are, well, I'm just going to put it next to my cue. And my cue, when I stand up, comes to about, well, to put it politely, about my nipples. So just to give you an indication of how long the cues actually are. So, uh, the cues are not very long at all, but for enclosed spaces, the cues are a high advantage having them that long. But uh, my cue is a break in the middle one to screw it in and out, which is uh, means I could just use the shorter end if I want. But the cues are incredibly light. This is a heavy cue. This is, and this is it. What feel? It feels like balsa wood. Anybody that knows what balsa wood is is just it, what an incredibly, incredibly light wood. And for children, it's a really good advantage. Obviously, all the, the triangle, the chalks, scores, and all the balls and everything and the brush all come in this box just here because the box itself just fits the table nothing else it's, so there's no space around the edge of the box it's just there and then everything is packaged in the middle of it so now I'm just going to send my tripod into orbit we can uh, show you start setting it up let's go check that's alright no point having a naff ass angle I hope that's alright just as I set it up but 
just going to literally just tilt it upwards. It's not that heavy, I don't even know why I'm moving then. Whoops. But um, yeah, simple uh, pool table frame. Yeah, that looks all right. And then uh, obviously you just take your four brackets and they swing out from under here and then you just feed the bolt in. You probably can't see this, but uh, I'll go a closer look, but it's pretty self-explanatory. However, there is no instructions included, so uh, for the idiots amongst our societies, uh, it might be a problem. Because usually, uh, I did have a uh, six foot pool table, pool and sooth table, but um, it was rare that I ever played with it because I just used to go to my uh, local snooker hall with my friends and uh, I had membership there so I only had to pay um, two pound an hour to uh, play with my mates on a, uh, on a full size pool table, whereas if I played pool with my friends, um, Say if there's four of us and we're taking it to us, you only have to pay a quid each for an hour. And then the drinks were pretty cheap as well and it was good atmosphere, so uh, I just started to up sticks and go there instead. But uh, this is good if you want a little bit of, just if you have guests over or whatever, you just want to quickly whip out a little pool table for people to have fun with. So that's the, because I'm actually, this is actually a present for my girlfriend. She uh, just moved into a new house. And they have a little outbuilding that they've converted into like a games room. She said she wanted a pool table, so I've got her a pool table. So that is the table set up. I hope that was all right and that wasn't a very dodgy angle. But now I'm just going to dismount the camera. I'm just going to quickly show you the brackets in there like that. So you can just see how they just fold out. Then the pockets... Fairly, I'll just drop the white ball into this one. So, uh, fairly, fairly long pockets. But when you push the balls out, the pockets usually stay there. And this looks, I'm trying to figure out a way to straighten this out because it looks naff. But for 50 quid, I can't really complain. So, um, that's the table itself. I'm just going to stick the camera back onto the tripod without dropping it. And, uh, I'm just going to get this set up so that uh, you can just see us having a little, little prat about with it. Ugh. Apologies for this. Actually, I'll bring it a bit closer. Where is that? Uh, trying to get the whole thing in view. Ah, that'll do. I hope. So, uh, we'll just have a start with the pool balls first. We'll have a couple of... Uh, Hits with it. So yeah, the table is. Uh, I had some friends over yesterday, and uh, we was playing with it in here for ages. And they said for, I wanted their opinion to tell you. I said they said for the price. Uh, you look at it and you think, oh, four foot is not very big. It'll be naff. But if you've got your own queue, it's actually a lot of fun. I was really surprised that I was. So uh, we'll just quickly set up the pool, obviously pool, I just do spot stripes or blanks and stripes, however you want to call it. I know there is a tick method and everything, but I just prefer to have it simply on there. And obviously you do get the numbers with it if you want to play American pool. I usually prefer to the white spot to be on here, and then I shall be using my cue to break because uh, you can't get much power behind the shot with the little cue so uh, and obviously I missed it completely. The, uh, the edges of the felt are slightly, you can probably just see them there, that's why my hand slipped on it but uh, if I just quickly rebuild them, <laughs> we'll try again. Uh, it's, it's, I don't really know how to describe it in the sense of spots. Oh, there's the black. How the hell did the black get there? Actually there. Probably should have just put a triangle back down, shouldn't I? Yeah. That needs to go there, that needs to go there. 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 
So we'll just uh, quickly uh, realign them again. Try again. Uh, I'm just using the standard chalk. I think that is similar to the one that comes with it. In fact, I think it's exactly the same. I mean, chalk is, well, all it is in pool and snooker is grip on the cue. Let's try again. That was better. We'll just, uh, now we'll use a littler cue. The smaller, well, a littler. Sounds a bit stupid. A smaller cue. And I will say straight away, the chalk on these little cues, the end of it is naff. It's just, it's just pla it looks plastic, and you really have to work at it to get a thin layer of chalk onto it. So, and the the head of the cue is huge. So it's a, a bit naff in that respect, but we'll just drive it into here. That's better. And then I mean, once you've done that, the level of the table itself is fairly decent. There's uh, not a lot really I could fault with it, but uh, obviously for 50 quid there are faults with it, but nothing really that you think, oh god, this is naff, this is, I'm going to take this back. But if you just want something that you can have a little mess around with with your friends, this is exactly, exactly what you're looking for. And obviously now, whilst it is on special offer, Oh gosh. It is a it is a fairly good buy. I would uh, I would highly recommend it. So uh, if you have a son or a daughter or a pool enthusiast that you know and uh, your budget for them is fairly high, by all means, get them this table. They will uh, they will be your best friend for a long time. Let's put it that way. So uh, yeah, we'll just uh, just give you a little further little look as to uh, the uh, the level of the table. Some people can tell just by watching people pot the the uh, the surface or how it's uh, Obviously I'm lifting my pool cue like that sort of angle then to try and get it in the air, but I mean it's still I mean it's it's still confusing me now the uh the the angle of the table just seems all wrong because it's so small. It's like you're having to start from scratch again. But for the young children that have probably not played pool in their life this is this is excellent for them. It's a uh, it's just, it's the start of what they want to do. Well, if they want to play football, that is. Because uh, I had a uh, six foot pool table that was similar to this, but um, that was on special offer as well. That should have been a hundred and thirty quid, I think it was, and uh, the. Uh, I think it was the Halfords in uh, a local retail park was just selling them because they wanted to get rid of them because I think they were bent. They were slightly wonky. So um, she managed to get one for me for uh, 50 quid and that was obviously a full size pool table with all the balls and everything and uh, two full sized cues. So, um, and uh, I sold, the, I had that for about three years. I think it was, something like that. I had it for a very long time. And um, I had a lot of fun and enjoyment out of that. And I think I sold it for 50 quid. So uh, only lost, well, it was a present, but I, in theory, if I'd bought it myself, we would have only have lost mm, 20 quid. So pretty decent. But I mean, I'm probably just rambling now, but I do prefer, I prefer snooker myself. That is a uh, my uh, that was a pretty good shot, wasn't it? 
I do prefer uh, snooker to uh, pool massively. Don't know why, just always are. So we'll just. This shouldn't take much longer now to put all these away. Obviously, I'm lifting. And I just missed. <laughs> so I'm trying to. Because uh, I don't want to smash the TV. Because the TV itself is about flipping 60 inches, I think it is. So. My mum would not be very happy if I break that. But uh, yeah, I mean for parties and stuff, I was saying to my girlfriend, I said, oh well, you can, you can, if you don't, if you're not going to treat it like the crown jewels, you can use it as a uh, a table as well, maybe put put, put a mat on it. You got yourself a nice little dinky table. I'm getting bored now, so I'm... whoops, slow my cue into the ceiling. So uh, yeah, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this if you were. Oh, that was terrible! If you're looking to uh, not spend a lot of money, then uh, this is definitely, definitely for you. So uh, yeah, uh, great, great pool table. Definitely, definitely recommend it. The mistake I made though when I went to collect it from Argos was not taking somebody with me because to carry it back to the car was absolute proverbial. I really do regret parking as far away from the shop as I did. So um, thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you think if you've got this or got to any uh, pool, whatever, and check out my other videos as well. This is kind of an anomaly, an anomaly this video is. Uh, so uh, lots of Lego on the way. I bought loads of new Lego. I'm actually like, pretty much bankrupt. Well, in that sense that I don't want to spend any more money on Lego. Uh, there's a video of some two-way radios that I bought with earpieces. That's coming soon as well. So, uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a nice day.